Hello, you wonderful people. I'm so excited because today we're finally announcing our public beta for Strapi 5. In today's video, we're going to discuss how you can get started, how you can participate in the beta as well, help us out to make improvements as necessary. We're also gonna tell you where you could find help. Before jumping to the project, let's take a look where you could get some basic information on how to get started. We're going to take a look at Strapi's beta documentation. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. Please note, this is work in progress because this is still our first public beta. With that being said, when you're looking to try out Strapi 5, we suggest that you focus on brand new project that you're just looking to start so you could explore Strapi 5, try it out and give us some feedback. We currently don't recommend taking your existing Strapi 4 project and looking to migrate it to Strapi 5 just yet. You could take a look at the documentation to see some of the awesome features that are available, including draft and published. We also are replacing the entity service API with document service API that you could read more about here, as well as a simplified REST API response that a lot of you were asking for, including our upgrade tool. And very important, make sure that you see the list of breaking changes. With every new major release, there might be some breaking changes that were introduced to make the current version of Strapi much better. If you're looking to migrate your Strapi 4 application to Strapi 5, we don't recommend that you do it at this moment. We are currently creating a migration tool that's going to make this process much simpler as well as migration guides. But with that being said, let's jump in and start our first Strapi 5 project. In order to get started in my terminal, I'm going to run the create strapi app command pointing at the beta. I'm going to call it strapi5 and we could pass the quick start flag. This is gonna go ahead and set up our application. Once everything installed, you're going to be greeted with the strapi welcome screen. Go ahead and create your first admin user. I'm gonna type in my email as well as a super secure password that nobody will guess, definitely not monkey1234. Once you click enter, you'll be greeted by the dashboard. Nice, now we're going to navigate to our content type builder and create a new collection type. I'm going to create a post and an author. Here you could see the collection types that I just created off screen. We have our author, which includes some basic information like my first name, my bio, including my avatar, and we have our post, which includes a basic blog post, including a relationship to an author. What one thing that you're gonna notice, we now have our draft and publish tab. If you'd click on published, you will see the current article that is published. And under the draft tab, you could make changes to your articles. For instance, maybe I don't need any of this other content. I could delete it and click save. Now we're going to have a modified post and a published post. If I take a look, we see our original published content, but if we go to draft, we could see that our draft has been modified, but not yet published. I'm not gonna go ahead and publish it. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Now we did mention the return response. So let's take a look what it looks like. I went ahead and used our query builder to populate the fields that I want to show. I wanna make sure that I return my images and my author's data. Taking a look at our response, you're gonna see a couple of differences. Outside of regular ID, we actually have a document ID that refers to our document. Also, if we notice that the structure, it is much flatter structure than before. We no longer have nested data and attributes, which is a welcome change that a lot of you were asking for. With this brief intro, I wanna encourage you to play around with Strapi 5 yourself. Go ahead, set up a project, and more importantly, if you find something, please provide our feedback. There's a couple of ways to do that. Number one, you could join us at our Strapi Open Office Hours, which is held Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. CST time. Derek and I will be there to ask any of your questions that you have. And another way you could help or contribute is if you spot a bug or something that's not working as expected, go ahead to Strapi's GitHub and create a new issue under issues. I'll put the exact link in the description below, but just keep in mind when creating a new issue, please make sure that you fill out all the information as necessary. It greatly helps us to make sure that we could address the issue in a timely manner. Thanks for watching the video and go try out Strapi 5. Without you, the community, Strapi would not be what it is today. And remember, any issues that you have, please go ahead and create a bug report or join us in open office hours Monday through Friday to 
give us all your feedback so we could make this beta launch the best that it can be. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.